everyone and welcome back to Jess is Blessed. If this is your first time at my channel, welcome. If you like the video at any point, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel so, so much. And if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. I normally do a lot of cloth diapering videos, but if you clicked on this video, you already know that the topic of this video is cloth pads, which I also do a lot of cloth pad videos as well. That is another passion of mine. And so I am so excited about this video. I actually filmed it the other night, but due to issues with filming, I have to refilm it, which is unfortunate because it was a great video. It's really frustrating, but it happens sometimes. So I'm super excited. Hopefully I remember to hit on all of the points that I did the first time around. And so with all of that said, let's jump into the video. So. This is a cloth menstrual pad and it is called a gusher pad. Now, I do need to say a disclaimer really quickly. Obviously, if this is a menstrual product, this deals with blood. So if you are squeamish about hearing about blood or anything like that, then this is not the video for you. I don't show any blood, but I do talk about it. And menstrual cycles and women's bodies and vaginas, you know, etc. So if that is something you don't want to hear about, then I would click off now. If that is interesting for you and you want to hear more about it, then continue watching. So just a little bit about cloth menstrual pads. They have made a resurgence in the past couple of years. There are many benefits to cloth menstrual pads. They are much, much, much better for your health. They save you tons of money. They are so comfortable. And of course, they are much better for the environment. Women's menstrual products are a huge contributor to the landfills and the dumps. So it's icky, you know, all of that just sitting in landfills. So cloth menstrual pads are amazing. So for a long time, cloth menstrual pads really resembled something like this. And so there are the snaps on the wings that help you, that snap and secure around a woman's undies. And then usually the patterned or pretty part of the pad is what lays straight directly against the skin. So the vagina, your body would be right here. This is what would snap around your undies. Now, usually cloth pads, you know, resembled something like this for a long time. And over the past year or so, the 2020, correct me if I'm wrong, but 2020 is really when I began to see start seeing gusher pads around what are called gusher pads and they look like this so they have these slits in them and as you can see I tried to find a pad that you'd really be able to see the slits and a gusher pad is made for women who are gushers and a gusher is just what it sounds like basically it is a woman who has a very fast a very heavy a very gushy type of flow now you don't have to be a gusher to wear a gusher cloth pad i don't consider myself a gusher but i still love these pads and a woman even if she doesn't consider herself or isn't a gusher can still have gushes of blood during her period uh you know if you have strenuous activity if you've been sitting for a while or sometimes just for no reason at all you if you're a woman you have more than likely experienced this you just feel a gush of blood and so these pads are incredible at absorbing catching trapping gushes of blood because of those slits. Now the slits in this material or in this pad make it resemble chenille fabric, which is just kind of a bumpy uh, textured fabric. It's really soft. It is typically used in a lot of apparel, um, things that are going to be going against the body. And ironically, I never owned anything made out of chenille that I can remember, but I literally just, my husband just got me a pair of pajama pants at Costco that are chenille and they're amazing but that is kind of what they're going for with the slits in this pad now because gusher pads are designed for a heavy or gushy type flow you typically won't find gusher pads in little tiny sizes um they are typically for you know longer heavy flow uh type of pads and so this is a 12 inch it's one of my absolute 
favorite shapes and this pad and all the other ones that I'm going to be showing you in this video, they are all pads that I have sewn. Um, I do own my own small business sewing cloth reusables, primarily cloth menstrual pads. I have an Etsy shop and a website. And so because of that, I obviously sew all my own products, um, all my own cloth menstrual pads. Uh, so I am speaking about mine, but for the most part, what I'm explaining about gusher cloth pads should apply to other makers as well. Um, and so, but like I said, I'm really speaking mostly about mine as far as con construction and things like that as we get more into it. With my gusher cloth pads and most that I see on the market, they are made out of organic bamboo velour as a topper. So it is a very soft material. It's organic. It's bamboo, which is naturally antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, bamboo is a very sustainable resource and so it's a very popular material for cloth pads, especially gusher cloth pads. Um, and this is a hand dyed one. My husband and I dye all of my organic bamboo velour. This is undyed organic bamboo velour. So you can see the difference. I mean, the dyed and, um, organic bamboo velour is so much prettier and that is why it is very, very popular. Now it's also, it is a really great material for cloth pads also because it kind of provides not just a soft, but a really like a stay dry kind of type feel. And it is really easy to wash, clean, maintain. It's really stain resistant. It's just a fantastic material for cloth pads, um, gusher cloth pads. It's also one that isn't going to fray and fall apart a lot. Um, like some, some fabrics really would not withstand the cuts in the top of the fabric. They will fray a lot. Uh, I have had customers request gusher pads made out of various materials though. And so if that's what they want, then that is what I will make, but usually organic bamboo velour. However, I also offer them in organic bamboo fleece, which is absolutely amazing. And honestly, I almost prefer this one over the organic bamboo velour. This one is like putting on your favorite pair of pajama pants. Like it is so soft and comfy. It is just, oh, I just love it. I love it. This is also hand dyed and it is super soft it's a fleece so fleece is typically you know like what a lot of baby blankets are made out of um and i try to describe fabrics because not everyone is familiar with what each fabric is so uh fleece is you know that kind of soft fluffy fabric that's actually what's on the back of this one now bamboo fleece is really soft bamboo is a very soft fabric by nature it's just a soft material and this fleece is super duper soft it does kind of not really i don't know i don't want to say pill up but it kind of gets i don't know just kind of i guess pilly would be the way to describe it which flannel does as well and so if you are really sensitive to flannel then i would probably say that you may not like the bamboo fleece pads i can't say that for sure but I'm just going to kind of lean towards that because it does kind of have that feel, but it's, it, again, it is way softer than any flannel I've ever felt. But if you're just super, super sensitive, um, and really like really super soft things, I would definitely just stick with the organic bamboo velour or the crushed velvet. So that is one other that I offer that I have not seen any other shops offer. Now, I think that there are some people that are going to start making them because they've seen mine probably, but um, this is one, it's not quite finished. It doesn't have the top stitching or the snaps, but this is a crushed velvet. And these are also incredibly, incredibly stain resistant, easy to care for. They're soft. They're basically all the same benefits of the organic bamboo velour, just with crushed velvet. And you think, is that absorbent? Like does crushed velvet work? Yes, it does. It works amazing. 
you'd be surprised at how well crushed velvet works for cloth menstrual pads. And I honestly cannot keep these in stock. The minute I list them up, I sell out of them. And so due to that, because when I make this video, I think there'll probably be some interest. If not, that's totally fine. I'm not making this video to specifically sell my products. But usually when I make a video, it does garner some interest in my products. So in light of that, when I release this video, I'm also going to stock my shop at the same time so that people who are interested can go and get some. Um, but if you want to shop somewhere else, that is totally, totally fine as well. Um, I do encourage you when buying Gusher cloth pads to do a little bit of research because Gusher cloth pads do tend to, well, not tend to, they are more expensive than just a traditional cloth pad. They are more expensive. They do take longer to make. And I also use the highest quality materials for mine. So organic bamboo velour, organic bamboo fleece, crushed velvet, those are all expensive, high quality materials. Then for my cores, I use hemp and bamboo fleece, and they are also high, high quality, high quality core materials. And for my backers, I do occasionally use just regular fleece. Um, I don't mind fleece for my own pads because I never bleed through my pads, but because I do have customers who worry about leaking and things like that, and to give my, my customers the best products possible, I have switched to using mostly WinPro fleece for the back of all of my pads. Now, WinPro fleece is a very high quality fleece. It is also virtually waterproof. And it's like almost 100, nothing is 100% waterproof, but it is very, very, very waterproof. And it's also breathable and it ages very well. I mean, it is like this pad I've had for, I've made this one probably two years ago. And this is WinPro fleece on the back. It's just a gray one. And look at how good that looks. I mean, it, it ages beautifully. So WinPro fleece, high quality material. So I use very high quality materials in my pads and the price does end up reflecting that. Now I can't guarantee though that every shop does that. And so, like I said, when you are buying Gusher cloth pads, I encourage you to read all of the description box, read all of the details, know what you're buying. Um, and if there isn't enough details, I would message the the seller. I would message them or email them and ask them, like, what is your core made out of? What backer materials do you use? Um, what is your construction method, etc.? Because you want to make sure that you're buying pads that are going to last, that your hard earned money is going towards something that is going to last you because gusher cloth pads are expensive. Just to give you a little reference point, I'm just going to kind of break down cloth pad pricing really quickly. A normal cloth pad, just regular cloth pad, typically for most makers sells for about a dollar an inch. So this is a 12 inch pad. Typically it's about $12, a little bit more if it's an experienced or popular seller or high quality materials. A little bit less if it is a uh, lighter pad, less quality materials, or a new seller who knows that they are, you know, not a very experienced seamstress yet. Um, I've seen some shops that just started out that will sell pads for five dollars, five six dollars, uh, because you know they are still figuring out what they're doing and um, their stitching isn't the the best. And so you can get some really great pads at low cost, but typically if you're paying higher prices, you're usually getting higher quality pads, but not always. I have seen some shops charge crazy amounts and not have the highest quality material, like just using regular cotton flannel for the core and for the topper and the, and just some fleece for the backer and charging a dollar an inch or more and so that's why I just really urge people to really research and make sure they know what they're buying you can also ask how long someone has been sewing cloth pads zoom in on pictures you can tell a lot by zooming in you can see the top stitching you can see if the if the stitching is crooked 
if the snaps are, you know, if one's way up here and one's way down here, that's not a good sign, you know. Uh, if there is top stitching on the core, if that's really off center or crooked, there's just, or if the pad itself, I mean, I've seen some where the, the wings are completely in different spots or it's not symmetrical at the bottom at all. I mean, there's just, those are all signs that it, you're not buying from a, a very experienced seamstress. And so I would just caution people to be careful where you spend your money. That's that's it. But so for gusher cloth pads, sorry, I always end up going off into detail, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the most comprehensive picture that I can. So for gusher cloth pads, I typically do a dollar per inch plus five dollars. So for a 12 inch pad, this is not. For a 12 inch pad, this pad would typically be about $17, which I know sounds crazy, but believe me, there are shops that charge way more than that. I have seen shops that charge $22 for a 12 inch gusher pad. So there are much more expensive shops out there. Um, but they are more labor in intensive and I've gone over it. Anyhow, these are incredible though. I absolutely love it. I was very hesitant about gusher cloth pads when I first saw them. I had the reaction that I'm sure a lot of you guys are having. Like, how is that not going to fall apart? That pad is going to absolutely fall apart, be destroyed. It's a waste of money. It's, you know, what, how is that going to do anything? I just kind of had all of those thoughts. I wouldn't even make one for probably six months. And then when I finally sat down and made one and figured out the construction and something that I was comfortable with that made what I knew was a structurally sound pad, then I was like, okay, all right, I'm okay with this. I could sell these. And so I started offering them in my shop. Now I didn't get my period back. I just had a baby nine months ago and to, today, nine months ago today. And so I didn't get my period back until he was five months old. So I've only had my cycle back for four months. And so I just got a chance to try them a few months ago, four months ago, and I fell in love, absolutely in love. Not only are they fantastic at catching heavy flow, they are so comfortable and they truly work. They, they actually, they work. These slits give a heavy gushy flow time to absorb and collect and just so comfortable. Also, you don't even really notice the stitching or the slits when you're wearing it. You don't even really feel them, but it just works so good. And they're so comfortable, especially, oh my gosh, I love this one. I only have three for myself. Uh, I will show you all three. I have one more. This one, which, oh my goodness, I love, love, love. All three of these are, the colors are just amazing, phenomenal. I love this one. It reminds me of like sunsets. I love this one. And I love this one. I just absolutely love them. Um, however, I would say my favorite is this one for sure. Now, okay, so they're amazing, they're comfortable, they work great. Now let's go into the construction because that is the next question that everybody has. Are they going to fall apart? Are they gonna withstand? Are they going to last? And let me tell you that the way that I construct mine, they are going to last. So I'm going to show you a little insider secret. I debated about whether I'd even show this, but because I want to show that it's not going to fall apart, I'm going to show you guys how I make them. And so this is bamboo fleece. For a heavy, I use two or three layers, and for an extra heavy, I'll use three or four layers, just depending on the weight of the bamboo fleece. Uh, this is super heavy organic bamboo fleece, so I have two layers here. And then I use two layers of flannel on top of that. So this is just regular cotton flannel. Now this really doesn't have much purpose other than adding a little bit of extra absorbency, but the main purpose is to add the contrasting color underneath the top layer of the pad. 
So you can really see it with this one. Excuse my troll's band-aid. I got into my toddler's band-aid when I cut my finger. But underneath there, you can see the pink. And that is that contrasting flannel. So it gives it a really pretty pop of color rather than it just being white. I don't have to do that. I just do it because I think it looks really pretty and it can just really add some really good color. Now this one I also did pink, but I, looking back at it now, should have done yellow because yellow would have really, really popped out better. And then for this one, Again, I should have chose a different color. For this one, I actually used white flannel. So I thought that that would look really cool. And it looks okay, but I should have just picked a color and done it. But anyways, so that is what the purpose of that is. Now, for the core, I use my serger. So not everyone has a serger either. And so... I can't promise you that everyone's cores are going to be surged, but what I do is I surge all the way around. So this is four threads all the way around that locks the edges of this core. So this core is not going anywhere. I mean, this core is going to last years, years and years because it is just, I mean, it's, it's sewn together so well. And now this side actually has the lines. That's where I'm going to be sewing the stitches so this is what is going to be the pad itself and you can see the outline on the back that is what is going to be the pad the shape of the pad now what I do this goes on here and then I sew all these lines every single one securing every single line so that they won't come undone and that is where those lines that you see on the front came from. And so sometimes I'll do them at an angle like I did on this one, a little bit slanted. And then sometimes I will do them just straight. Oh, these are all slanted, I guess. But okay, just pretend that they're straight. But that is what those lines are, those stitched lines. So when this is done, it is sewn all the way around the core and it is secured with all of these lines of stitching on there. So this is so secure to the top of the pad. I mean, it is, it is on there good. And then I will use the backing. So that will be the wind pro fleece. And then I sew the whole pad together so that it ends up looking like this. And then there's a final top stitch that goes all the way around the edging. So that is this stitching that you can see. You can really see on the back that line that's just following the edge. Just very at the edge. And so that is further securing the pad so that it won't come undone and then add the snaps at the very end. So this is so structurally sound. It is not going to fall apart on you. Now, again, I can't promise that everyone does theirs like this. I have zoomed in and looked at other makers pads and I, some do look like they resemble this. However, I don't know for sure what they do for their cores. You can ask, they may not say they may I, I honestly don't know but like I said I just want to put that information out there because I know what I do so I would not worry about the pad well I wouldn't worry about my pads falling apart um and if other makers make them similar to mine then they should last you uh for quite a long time approximately five years is the lifespan of a cloth pad and so they should last you about that long. I love mine so much that I look forward to my period. And I know that that probably sounds insane to any of you who are like, um, why would you look forward to your period? But I know that I'm not insane because I've heard many other women, including friends of mine who use cloth pads, who have said and agreed with me that they look forward to their period now. 
for many reasons. You have these fun, beautiful, pretty pads to wear. And also by switching to cloth pads, my period, well, okay, I heard before I switched to cloth pads that your cramps would get uh, lessened and that your cycle could get shorter or not cycle your period could get shorter and I was like yeah right and then I switched to cloth pads and it was 1000% true my period used to be about seven days when I used I was a tampon user for 20 years and then I switched my period used to be about seven days and now it's three to five tops tops is five Usually it's three or four days and my period's over. I used to have wicked cramps every single cycle. My last period, I barely even had like a couple twinges of cramps and that was it. And I'm not the only one who has said that as well. So I truly believe in the magic of cloth pads. And I really think that, especially with tampons, I think that they stop the natural flow the natural menstrual flow. It's called a flow for a reason. And when you're using a tampon, it's literally blocking that flow. And so I, I believe that when you just let your flow flow, that it gets over quicker because your body knows how to get rid of the blood. Your body knows what it's doing. And I think that by blocking that and preventing that natural process, I think that that may potentially cause more cramping. This isn't science, you know, it's not scientific. I don't have any studies to back me up, but I have my own experience and from what I've heard from many, many other women and an educated, I don't wanna say guess, but an educated um, opinion on it. And that's what I really truly think. So I love cloth pads and I urge anyone to give them a try. And if you've been on the fence about gusher pads I really urge you to give one a try like oh my goodness really urge you to or if you're just on the fence and want to try a cloth pad at all I mean there's so many different types of cloth pads there's just I mean this is a Christmas one I'm making it's a Christmas tree it's a nutcracker Christmas tree I mean and I do make a lot of like novelty ones uh, really fast, I'll show you what I wore this last month for my period. It was so short. It was done in like less than three days. So I wore, and it was really light. Like I didn't even really need to change my pads that often. So I wore all three of my gushers. So that one, that one, and that one. And I'm absolutely making myself some more of those. Oh my gosh, I love them. Um, and then I wore this one, which is just a bamboo micro Sherpa. This was before I started dyeing my own fabrics, but I still love it. And look, I mean, if you take good care of your pads, they, they don't get all stained and bloody, um, and gross looking. Just rinse them with cold water immediately after taking them off, wash them in cold water. Don't let stains sit. Um, OxyClean, I love OxyClean. It works very, very good. And especially if you do let a pad sit for too long or whatever, but, um, take, take care of them and they will last. And, you know, if you're grossed out or squeamish about the blood, it's honestly not bad, especially when it's your own blood and you get over it. Well, from what I've heard from other people, I was never really squeamish about it, but from what I've heard from other people, they've gotten over it like really quickly. Um, so um, anyways, this is a Starbucks floral pad and I love this print. Love, love, love this print. I don't love this shape as much. I really love this shape. As you can see, I have like a gazillion pad and that's what I reach for. Like pretty much is that, that shape pad. Anyhow, these horror villains, this is a 10 inch one. Um, then here's that same shape again, Disney princesses. This is like the, um, half like sugar skulls or, or whatever. This is a super popular print of mine as well. Um, that I offer this one is just an organic bamboo velour. That's not a gusher in that same shape in 10 inch. Look at, I think every pad I used. Yeah. 
all of them I've shown you so far were that shape, which is, yeah, my favorite. Um, and then one more that's that shape. I might as well just switch my whole stash to this shape because I know it's my favorite now. Um, this one matches my other gusher, kind of, and it's just not a gusher, but I love, love the colors. Reminds me kind of of a sunset. Now, this one is one I made, this is one of the first cloth pads I made years ago, and it was not made with the highest quality materials, and look how well this has stood up. I believe it's going on year four four of being used and look at how good this still looks after four years this is flannel backing and this is just a cheap cotton topper cotton uh, knit topper and it still looks great for a four-year-old pad so imagine how good these other ones are gonna look after four years that are made with way better materials so, um, and I had one other pad that I don't know where it went, but yeah, those were the ones that I wore. That's how short my period was. Just, that's it. So, gusher cloth pads. I love them. I love them. And I was so excited to make this video just because I have wanted to make it for a long time. I have thought about making it for a long time and I just really wanted to reassure people that the pads won't fall apart and I really wanted to try them before I made a video because I didn't want to speak about them without having used them you know what I mean I did I couldn't say that they were great or amazing or horrible if I hadn't tried them so now that I've had a chance to actually try them I was so excited to make this video and I hope that it was helpful if you're interested I do normally do stockings every two weeks on my website um, however, like I said, for this video, I'm actually going to be doing a stocking, like when I release this video. So the links to my website and my Etsy shop will be in the description box down below. I will be putting them up on my actual website. So that's blessedisbestco.com. Check it out if you want to. If not, then that is totally fine as well. And I just thank you so much for spending some time with me and listening to me talk about gusher cloth pads if you enjoyed the video if you learned something new please give the video a thumbs up if you would like to comment on the video i would love to hear your feedback i would love to hear if you have tried gusher cloth pads i would just love to hear from you guys so you can go to facebook or instagram to cop to comment on the video or to the community tab up above. So all three of those places, I will leave a thumbnail of the video and you can comment there. Uh, all the links to everything is in the description box down below, tons, tons of links. And so I hope to see you over there. Um, I hope to hear from you, comment, comment, comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. I love you guys so much. If you have any video topics that you wanna hear about regarding cloth pads, so please let me know in a comment and with all that said i will see you guys soon for the next video so until next time good night goodbye and stay blessed